Woo! I am super hyped to show you guys the top 10 Android apps of January for 2023. Damn, I am really liking the wallpaper and the layout of my home screen this month. The first thing I'm gonna be showing off right here is this widget on my home screen. So I always do show off widget packs. The first one up is called Dice for KWGT. And thanks to the developer, I'm actually giving away some free promo codes. I always kind of do this, but if you go message me on Instagram or you just go check out my Instagram story, I will leave the username on the screen and you'll get the app completely free. I'd also appreciate it if you guys subscribe while you're at it. But this is a really nice widget pack. Same as always, it has 60 widgets in here and they're all futuristic, very minimal. And the pack is an add-on for KWGT. So you will need to actually install KWGT to use this app. So inside the pack, you have weather widgets, media playback widgets, quick toggles, Google search bar widgets. There's a bunch of the standard widgets you would expect from a pack like this. However, they are very vibrant and curvy and very spacious. And they have this really punchy, futuristic vibes. So if you're going for that kind of futuristic over the top home screen setup, then these are definitely some widgets you're gonna to wanna to check out. Out number two is Calendly. And have you ever been in a situation where you have to organize dates with people? So organ not like dates, like you're going on a date. I mean dates for meetings or appointments with clients. If you're a very busy person and you're fed up of those back and forth emails all the time, telling people when you're available and when you're not, you can check out Calendly. Calendly. Calend Calendly. I don't know why. Weird name. Calendly syncs with your Google Calendar, so it knows when you're busy, when you have your existing meetings, or when you're off on holiday, and it will go ahead and fit that into the Calendly portal interface. So when people click the link, it will bring out this web portal with the calendar of when you're free. And then they can just go ahead and book a time to speak with you. So whichever date you have free, whichever time, they can just book it in there and it will sync back to your Google Calendar so you know exactly when that meeting is. Out number three is Wallpaper, and this is actually made by the people who make OnePlus. So this wallpaper right here is really cool because it displays your digital well-being. So if you're using social media too much or you're just watching videos and being less productive than usual, you will actually see it in your wallpaper. So these are really colorful and adaptive wallpapers, and they basically change depending on your digital well-being, so what you're using in your phone. So there is this kind of gradient effect wallpaper. There is a grid one, which is kind of like this tile effect. You have donuts and this space one right here. So these planets I have in the background, they will actually change position and get bigger and smaller depending on what apps I'm using. I really like this. It's a little bit different and I really dig the way the planets look on my home screen. So I couldn't recommend it more than enough. App number four is Kodoro. So Kodoro is a QR code manager and it basically allows you to generate QR codes as well as scan in QR codes. The QR codes you generate can be really helpful because you can make QR codes to easily connect to Wi-Fi, to share contacts, or even to share your favorite apps with your friends. You can just go ahead and create a QR code with the exact content you need. And something else really cool is you can actually choose between all these different QR codes or even just regular barcodes inside this app. And a really neat feature is it has a history log. So for every QR code you scan, it will log it right here in the history section. So if you scan in a contact and accidentally lose it, or if you scan in a menu or something on a shop window and you wanna go back to it later, you can just find it in the history section. This is really handy, especially with COVID. I mean, I know COVID's over, but it's still kind of lingering. And it kind of made people switch over to QR codes. A lot of menus in restaurants now, you just scan the QR code on the table. You don't actually have a physical piece of paper anymore. It's kind of sad, isn't it? Out number five is Cinema HD version two, because version one just wasn't good enough. There wasn't enough free movies. No, I'm just kidding. But version two right here is a free movie app you can download. It's an APK, not in the Play Store, obviously for legal reasons. And this app basically crawls the internet and finds all of those movies and TV shows that you love and allows you to watch them inside of here for free. Now, I always say this, pay for your content, support the creators of your content, because obviously if you don't, then they're not gonna be creating any content anymore. So it's it's better in the long run if you just support and pay for movies and pay for TV shows. But if you're in a situation right now when you just wanna watch things for free, this app allows you to do that. And you can also cast 
to your TV, and you can also download things as well, but I would really avoid downloading things, honestly. But yeah, it's a free movie app, so if you're looking for that, Cinema HD version 2 is linked down below. Out number six is PC Builder. So for a while now, I've really wanted to build my own gaming PC. Haven't got around to it yet. I use Mac primarily because I'm a video editor and a photographer and a lot of those tools are just better on the Mac and uh, I just personally feel more accustomed to Mac OS. And obviously Macs really suck at gaming. So yeah, I really wanna get around to building a custom Windows gaming PC. I think that'd be pretty badass, but it can be a large project and there can be a lot of thought that goes into it. And this app right here is called PC Builder. It allows you to build your own PCs in the app to see how much they'll cost and how much wattage they'll use when running. So when you're in here, you can create a new build. You can change your region as well. So that changes the price. And once you've created a new build, you can add the processor, the motherboard, GPU, the memory, storage, power supply, all your components for your PC. You can click and actually search the internet and add them into this checklist. So then you have basically different mock-up versions of how you would build your gaming PC. And you can compare the price, you can compare the power consumption, and obviously you can change the region. So if you're gonna move abroad or if you're a student and you wanna check how much it is back home, then you can create different builds in different regions. It's kind of interesting, but honestly, a really cool idea. Out number seven is Sunny. And Sunny is a really simple, minimal weather app, like literally simple AF, like damn, this is simple. So when you open the app up, you have this really childlike interface, very minimal, you have the temperature, you have your high of the day, your low of the day, what the temperature feels like, and then you have your hourly forecast, which you can scroll through on the bottom here. But then if you swipe up, you have a little ad there if you don't pay for the pro version. And then at the bottom, you actually have your pressure indicator, your humidity levels, UV index, your rain chance, so 99%, I'm gonna need my umbrella today, and the wind speed as well. So there's a lot of information in this app but keeps it really clean and simple, and it doesn't overwhelm you with a bunch of graphs and charts. I really, really like this app. Recently, Apple unveiled this app called Freeform. It's a big collaborative whiteboard, and you can add your teammates, and you can all draw and add notes and pictures and graphs. And I found a really great app to do the same thing on Android and Windows computers. So this app right here is a whiteboard by Microsoft and it does the same thing. You can create big whiteboards, you can add your teammates and they can all go and collaborate and draw within this space. Honestly, I really like this workflow. I love the ability to just draw and add things wherever I want. So you have this big whiteboard with post-it notes. That's just the way that my mind works more than just lists and typing up documents. Just scribbling away with my ideas is just an amazing process for getting creative and getting your ideas out there. So if you are that type of person, then you might wanna check out Whiteboard. It works with your Windows computers as well. So it syncs across between your phone and your laptop or your desktop. Number nine is WIDAR. So WIDAR brings LiDAR functionality to phones that don't have any form of depth sensor, like on the Pixel right here. So this app allows you to scan objects in 3D by simply taking loads of pictures of that object. So you just go in, start recording, and then you move your phone circular around the object you wanna scan. Once you've done that, it then uploads all those images and compiles them together into a 3D model and then downloads back onto your device. So as you can see right here, I've actually scanned in some fruits. So we have an orange right here. And as you can see, it's in this kind of 3D CAD-like interface, but we can go right round and we can see the shape. We can also go ahead and crop, erase. We can actually sculpt the shape. So if we wanna adjust it after we've scanned it in, we can do that. And it's just a really cool way of basically getting a 3D scanner into your phone completely free. And the last app on the list is CapCut. So a lot of people are editing videos for social media and they're recording on their smartphone. So why on earth should you move your footage from your phone to your computer just to edit it and then move it back again to your smartphone? I found a really great video editor app. A lot of people are talking about it. And honestly, it's just super easy to use. So you go ahead and create a new project, import your video clips, you can add multiple videos to the timeline, you can stack them, you can 
basically do everything you can in like iMovie or most basic video editors. So once I've imported my video, as you can see in the timeline, I can scrub through it. I can also shorten it. I can add transitions. I can even separate the audio from the actual clip. As you can see there, extract audio. And then I can go ahead and edit the audio. So if I want to add a deep voice or if I want to remove some background noise or do some noise isolation, I can do that straight from my smartphone without needing a computer. You can also add stickers, text overlays. There's also presets in here and automatic modes. So they will basically automatically edit the footage for you into a nice sort of clip for social media. There's a lot you can do with it experiment around with it and let me know what you think in the comments section down below. But that's my 10 apps for January of 2022. Woo! I'm super hyped to have actually reached this far in my channel. Obviously I'm approaching 50K and this year I have my own milestones, my own resolutions of things I wanna do. I, and the first thing is actually just to drink more water, honestly. I had a really bad allergic reaction the other day and I just realized I really need to focus a little bit more on my health and to try and just be more healthy. So that starts from eating better, going to the gym more, and just sleeping better, sleeping on time a little bit more. And that will hopefully give me a better mindset to work on these videos and to fuel my content because I just wanna grow on YouTube more than ever this year. And I'm gonna put everything I have into it. So if you guys could help me along the way, support me, I would appreciate that more than anything and remember, those free promo codes are on Instagram. If you want to go ahead and message me or check my story, you will see them over there. So I will see you guys later. Peace.